Good morning everybody, it's Nicole and um, today is World Mental Health Day. So I wanted to talk a little bit about advocating for your mental health care because the theme this year is mental health care for all, let's make it accessible. And I think there's um, several problems with that. First off, um, it's really hard in the United States to actually get into therapy when you need it. And that was an experience that I had a couple years ago when um, I was having a lot of panic attacks and I was kind of out of control. I was looking for a psychiatrist so I can get medication and it took me probably like six months to get into like a good therapy center um, because I went to several different crisis centers early on and they basically were like, okay, you're not gonna commit suicide, we're gonna send you home. So it was really like dismissive to the level of problems that I was having because I lost my job because of having panic attacks as often as I was having them. So you can have a lot of life problems and your problems are still like not big enough problems for them to help you. So that's in a large part because we have a shortage of therapy professionals right now and it's gotten exacerbated by the COVID pandemic because like in the last six months I've gone through five different psychiatrists because they're quitting, getting fired, retiring. I had one that quit after three weeks. So it's really like a big problem because a lot more people are seeking out therapy now because the whole COVID pandemic is a trauma in itself to a lot of people, especially if you've lost someone or been close to someone who's had COVID and a lot of these other experiences that are, people are having with hospitalizations, it's a huge trauma. Like being separated from your family when you're critically ill, that can leave huge scars on people. So the people who are seeking out therapy now are A, more traumatized and B, going to therapists that are maxed out on dealing with a larger caseload of clients who are more traumatized. So these therapists are getting compassion fatigue at a huge rate and they're burning out and they're working longer days. So we're losing a lot of our therapy professionals right now. So if you're interested in going in a helping profession, this is a really good time for you to be doing that because it's a very sorely needed profession right now because mental health has definitely come to the forefront due to this pandemic because even like my job, they tell people take time for self care and make sure that you're going to a therapist if you need it. And we have like wellness breaks at our meetings and they teach us how to meditate and how to do exercise at your desk and all these other things to increase your wellness. And like, that's a corporate job. So it's definitely interesting seeing the more emphasis and focus on taking care of your mental health. And that's especially true if you're in a helping profession because like nurses, doctors, therapists, they all have such a higher caseload right now and they're overworked and they don't have any relief and there's like no end in sight for them. So I think that's why a lot of them are burning out and leaving the profession. So it's harder to get a therapist than it was before. And when I was having trouble getting a therapist, that was like two years ago. So that was like way before any of this even happened. So there's a lot of online therapy now that there wasn't before and the opportunity for Zoom calls and there is um, online only therapy that you can do through calls or chats or your computer and um, a lot of the links to those are in my new blog post. It's um, in the description of the video. So if you're needing somebody that's online or to get therapy faster, that's definitely a good option right now. Otherwise, if you're looking for somebody, look on your insurance provider's website and go through like that big long list of people and you might have to call all of them until you find somebody that has like a soonish appointment because therapists a lot of times can get you in faster than a psychiatrist and getting the talk therapy early on before you get your meds, that's helpful because then you're learning some coping skills and things like that because the two definitely work hand in hand, your psychiatrist and your psychologist, because they're providing different services. One does the medication like a doctor and the other one does your talk therapy. So having both professionals is definitely helpful. And if you're needing medication and you can't get it right away from a psychiatrist, you can always go to your primary care doctor and describe your symptoms and they are qualified to provide those medications. A lot of them won't do it long term if you're not in therapy. So make sure you're working on getting a therapist too. And 
it is a lot of work and you do have to do it yourself. Nobody's gonna put you in therapy for you. It's something that you do have to seek out and you do have to try really hard. And you might have to go to four or five different intakes before you find somebody that will even take you. And that's a huge problem here in the United States. I don't know if that's worldwide, but at least here, it can be really hard to get into therapy. So make sure you're advocating for yourself. And if there's something you need, don't stop until you get it because nobody else is gonna do that for you. It's something that you are gonna have to work on for yourself. And sometimes you're gonna have to spend hours and hours calling people to make appointments. And if you're like me and you hate making appointments, that could be really hard. So call a couple every day, try to find somebody. If you have a family member that'll call and help you make those calls, that's awesome, because my boyfriend did that for me. He called a bunch of places to try to help me get an appointment and try to get sooner appointments. And sometimes um, your health insurance will have an online portal that you can schedule online, which is super helpful too. Like I have Unite Healthcare and they have like a search list of different doctors and you can type in what you need and make your appointment online. So that's really helpful too. So. If you have any of those tools available to you, that's super helpful. Or if you're low income and you're on any services like TANF or food stamps, your caseworker for that can refer you as well. And that's actually how I got referred to my current therapist is from TANF when I was out of a job. So they referred me to a center that was right there in the same office with the TANF office. And I just had to go upstairs and go to an intake and then I got an appointment in like three weeks. It was sort of awesome because before I was told that there was like a three month wait for everything. So keep trying until you find somewhere that can get you in and eventually you'll find something that's a good fit. So for World Mental Health Day, um, I hope this helps raise some awareness of the struggle that people go through to try to find therapy even when they really like badly want it. And if you do want it, keep trying until you find somebody. It's super important to get your therapist because that'll help you get on the path to getting well. Be well, my friends, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.